The Zika busters are out in force. Authorities here are trying to take control of this epidemic. El Salvador's not sending in the troops to tackle Zika yet, but what it is doing is sending in armies of municipal workers. They're going from house to house, knocking on the door, trying to fumigate and kill the mosquitoes. In this small nation of just six million people, there have been more than 6,000 suspected cases, two and a half thousand alone since the beginning of the year. Some people is calling it the new Ebola. I don't know if it's the new Ebola, but we, we don't want to find out. Enterprising market sellers are taking advantage of the growing concern. Electric mosquito zapping tennis rackets are being peddled as anti-Zika devices in the centre of town. The health ministry recently warned women to hold off from getting pregnant until 2018. It's a statement that politicians have rode back on since, limiting it to just this year. Even so, asking people to put off having a family is a drastic step. We are giving a recommendation. It's not prohibition nor a birth control measure. These children are going to need neurological help for the rest of their lives. They will have to get support and they will change the family dynamic. Nobody wants a child with incapacities, so we are asking people to reflect. But this is a hugely conservative society. Abortion under any circumstance is banned. It can lead to decades in jail. The Catholic Church says the government's approach is misguided but it doesn't offer much support for women who find themselves in difficulties. This isn't the solution to the Zika virus, but in light of the risk, a husband or wife can decide not to get pregnant, because if they do and get bitten and realize they might have damaged the fetus, well, they have to avoid the bigger evil, which is abortion. At the country's biggest maternity hospital, pregnant women are being handed out leaflets. There's little sign of panic from nurses, Expectant mothers, though, are worried. Look, nobody here has come out with a protection kit. Where's the concern? Chatting to people won't get rid of the mosquitoes. So far, there have been no cases of babies born with microcephaly here in El Salvador. Around 100 pregnant women are under observation. But they won't know the true impact of the virus until their babies are born in a few months' time. Katie Watson, BBC News, El Salvador.